Welcome back to episode two here on the Central Craft server. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the little bell to be notified when new content goes live on the channel. Hit me up on Twitter and get with us on Discord. Link is down in the description below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This multiplayer sleep isn't quite working for me for whatever reason. The data pack is not wanting to allow multiplayer sleeping, even though it's multiplayer sleep. Um, so I'll have to double check. There hasn't been a, a very, very, very recent update for it. Uh, and then reload that as possible. Because once they spawn, they're still going to track the nearest player. And we're not near anybody. By near anybody, I mean we're much closer than in the last season. But, yep. Kind of how I've spread everything out. Because I don't want to junk up the... Uh, one little chest up here. I don't want to leave chest all over. This is where we're going to build at. You kind of saw it in, in one of those clips as we're approaching it. So we're on that floaty islandish thing in the sky. Or mostly floaty. And kind of built ourselves a staircase to get up here. Uh, which is... I need to kind of remember where my staircase is. It's not there. But ooh, I have water. And a llama. There's my staircase, so it's looking like we're in the west direction from the staircase, and that's good. Coal hanging out under there, which we'll definitely use. Uh, but yeah, our main dimensions for what we're building are going to be initially like a 29 by 29 area. So this island will need to be kind of radiused out. Uh, I think the full diameter is going to be about 35 round, and it'll be a kind of a floating island style, so it won't be a perfect circle. Uh, we'll, we'll shape it a bit. Uh, so it'll be a floating island with a 29 by 29 kind of structure. It's kind of the rough dimensions at its base. Going all the way up 45 tall, encompassing several floors uh, for us to call our home. So... We're going to get that started in our very, very next episode, though, uh, which will be coming out you know, right after this one, or at least the following day. So we're going to get that at least starting to plan out kind of the dimensions, where we want it, uh, what's going to be the middle, which I'll just go under, find the point of the island where it's kind of the, the smallest point, and that'll be how I derive center. Uh, and we'll base everything else off of that. Uh, but before before the phantoms show up, I'm getting in bed. And let's see if they still spawn. I mean, we it's vulnerable to be out here. We can get hit easily when they pack spawn. It's terrible, and oh my god, the bamboo, the bamboo. I think I just need to let these grow up uh, and just have them just as high as possible. Because then that gives me a nice little cage that they don't collide with well anyway. So, the bamboo cage. Oh, and those grow regardless of something beside them. That's good. So unlike cactus. Yeah, I didn't really get to check out a lot of the new mechanics. We were going to make a campfire before everything kind of went south on us with those phantoms. So let's make that. And I don't think I left anything to cook, so do I do I need to use fuel to cook? And does it take the same amount of time? I don't know about things from kind of the update cycle along the way, but I haven't played in any snapshots, haven't touched a thing, keeping it nice and fresh. We have skeletons out and about uh, on the prowl. 
we, we, we are lit up enough where we won't have to worry about it. I am worried about down there. Uh, that's problematic. A little bit. So we're going to go lighting up some more as it's dark. We'll eventually get a pumpkin and make ourselves a proper snow farm because we can. Um, um, okay, let's make some more torches. I still need more. There we go. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Way too many torches in one spot. All right. So I can kind of clip through them like that. But they do have a collision box, which is cool. But you can kind of slip through them. I think the phantoms are just a little too wide because they seem to have clipped it every time from whatever angle they wanted to go for. Uh, oh, and it pops it off. Interesting. Um, may need to put a hopper up underneath uh, a campfire just to pull out the contents. I, I don't know. Oh, and you get burned. That makes sense. A little dangerous to keep around, but it makes sense. My next question is, if you break it, do you get it back? You get a coal back. Okay. That's cool. again and it works with any wood all right well that's kind of neat um does mean i want to put it up higher charcoal give me charcoal back for that interesting wonder if they've made any other differences to to other recipes i'm sure i'm sure it's a thing well, let's go ahead and get our cocoa back Replant that. Get that going. Oh, yep. I am running the data pack for the more transparent shield uh, along with lowered. So now it shouldn't block anything on the screen. We'll be able to see quite well. And yep. Now I'm interested in. I know I said I was going to let them grow, but how much of a harvest can I get? It seems like it's having a hard time tracking items a little bit on the server. I'm going to have to check into that performance-wise. Maybe it's just breaking the bamboo when it's really tall. Not sure. We'll plant our rose bush back down. Actually not terrible if you just keep at it. So even a manual farm isn't bad. I mean, we've only done one replant. We planted six, it grew. Uh, and then we planted what we grew from those six when we did our initial harvest and that was like 30 something and now we're up to you know two stacks and a half of bamboo like from one replant that is that is insanity that's some that's some awesome resource gathering right there um now we need to automate that because that's not a whole lot of fuel for us there still need our bucket of water uh, good news is, is the phantoms don't seem to be coming out. Ooh. 
There we go. We missed some. When he fell down there, they are lost for forever. That items may be a little slow to, you know, report their position back. Not sure. Yeah, nearly two and a half, almost exact stacks. Minus maybe one that could be... Yeah. Well, it's not exact, but still. Two and a half. Two and a little over a half from our second harvest. Not bad. We got some initial dyes coming along. You know, the ability to make melon seeds, or melons anyway, once we hoe some dirt. Um, we kind of need to get way more resources, so you know what comes next. We're going to have to start doing a mine. And probably at the very bottom of this dip, when it's morning, I'll mark center and, and do that. All right, we have made it down to the bottom of our mountain. Um, well, just as far down as I could go, right in front of the waterfront as well. And we have now made it down to uh, a good mine level. Uh, let's see, we're looking at block 10, 11, 12. And we've dug out a little bit in here. So we have more iron over there. I definitely want to go get that, but I need water. And right now what I have is lava. So I'm going to hold that on me until I run across a water source and I will get that. I don't want to go back up to the top just yet because it's like a 40 block climb. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just start a time lapse of a mining session. And let's see, we'll just pick a direction. Uh, we're going this direction. So we'll just, we'll make a three by three here. And we'll start our mine. And of course we'll, we'll sort of drill this way. And then we'll, if we have good ores, we'll, we'll poke along the way. But we'll get that started. It's been a while since I've done any kind of mining. Uh, or even been in Minecraft. So the first day in a very long time. Even though this is episode two. Just couldn't contain the excitement. So these are being recorded back to back. But. We'll go ahead and get started.
All right. So this is kind of the footprint we're working with for the build. Of course, we're going to lower it down uh, about as much as we can. We're going to preserve as much of the floating island and build onto it as we can. We're going to need a lot of dirt. Uh, but yeah, it's going to start about here and it's going to go up. Oh, that one finally grew into a big tree. That's nice. So I'll leave that one. Unless I absolutely need it for wood later. But yeah, that one that one could stay. Alright, I think that'll about do it for today's episode. In the next one, we'll have to gather even more resources because this is a really big build. But that's a problem for another day. I'll see you in the next one.